Greetings and salutations. This is Frederick John here with your weekly Monday video. This is going to be a quick video. We're going to be looking at how to display placeholder images and what's the best way to do that. Now, if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, I made a quick demo here. We have a body, an H1 tag, a P tag, and some images. If we pull this up in a web page, this is what it's going to look like. We've got some placeholder images here. And I get it. You don't want to put personal images up for display content. You don't want to be using pictures of you and your cat because then your cat gets all over the internet. People start creating some memes about your cat. Maybe they're not nice memes. Maybe you get offended. Then there's an all out internet war. I totally understand. But another reason you'd want to use these placeholder images are because you can define the dimensions right when you call for the image. So placehold.it, I need one that's 350 by 150, 300 by 350 by 500, or we could change this to 200. And all we have to do is save, and it's gonna automatically change the dimensions of our image. So it makes it really convenient. Now we just need to make them look better. So we're gonna use a different website. Instead of placehold.it, we're gonna use placeimg.com. Now this is gonna be a much better alternative. The syntax is a little bit different. Instead of 350x150, it's gonna be changed to 350 slash 150. They also give you the option to do a category. So I'm gonna use slash animals. So placeimage.com, the dimensions of the image, and the category you'd like to use. Now once I save that, you can see it's replaced with this nice image of dolphins. Now let's go ahead and replace the other ones as well. Three images of the animals and you have this nice little cute puppy dog by a tire. So let's take a look at some of the different category options we have. We can do tech, we can do nature, and let's see what that looks like. One animals, one tech, one nature. On their website, they have a list of the different categories that they have. Architecture, people, They can. you can also do grayscale. So you have a lot of different options here. We can also use the any option, which will select at random. As you can see here, it did tech. Let's make this instead of 150, let's make this 480. As you can see, it will optionally change the image size and match whatever the image size you need. So for using demo content and you need placeholder images, placeimg.com is going to be the best place to get these demo images. You can check out their site here. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and share it. Check out some of the other videos, and I'll see you next week.